not one of the 35 solid minerals we have in commercial abundance has been converted into a source of revenue. Yet, despite the fact that 70% of Nigerians live on less than a dollar a day, it is suggested that more money should still be taken away from them through taxes. Good evening, judges, fellow talkmates. When incompetence and corruption meet in government, we begin to hear statements like taxation is the only way forward, despite the fact that we burn 300 billion naira every year in the Niger Delta through gas flaring. We are big enough, we are blessed enough, and we are so culturally diverse that we can use tourism as a form of national revenue. But has this been done? There are three certain things in life. Change, death, and nature. Tax is not one of them. Thank you. Ajibola, your argument is that, look, if we were more creative, more accountable of revenues coming, better managers of the resources God has given us, we would probably be able to do away with taxation and become an economic miracle. All in all, well done to both of you. Ajibola, uh, you spoke about corruption in government as the main cause which prevents our development. And I think I would agree with you. Uh, you said that so much is wasted in the Niger Delta and that we are in fact as a nation shortchanged by this corruption, by this wastefulness in our, in our psychology even, both psychology and physical. And then you also pinpointed Dubai as a country which has succeeded and there, there is no taxation in that country. I thought it was a good example even though Dubai is